If you're like us, then you'll agree that a cartoon is only as good as its villain. Ha! You think the monarch can be bested so easily? Good lord, sit down! I'll deal with it! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our favorite cartoon villains. This time, I have something special. Number 10, Dr. Claw, Inspector Gadget. Just stand right there. This controlling mastermind behind the evil mad syndicate is straight out of a Bond film. Quote unquote, appearing with his mascot, his mad cat, his secret lairs range from hidden castles to underwater volcanoes. Is everything ready? Ready, Dr. Claw. We can see him coming. Good. Gadget, I've got you now. Dr. Claw's true menace lies in the mystery of his actual appearance allowing imaginations to run wild. Well, you haven't seen the last of Dr. Claw Gadget. Number nine, Aku, Samurai Jack. Once again, I am free to smite the world as I did in days long past. Aku is quite simply evil incarnate who's taken over the world, hence his title of Shogun of Sorrow. Memorably voiced by the late great Mako, who dares to summon the master of masters? He is one of a kind for his ability to shapeshift, time travel, teleport, and conjure towers. His only weakness is Jack's blade, and as a coward, he isn't above running away at the first sign that he might actually lose a fight. You will see me again, but next time you will not be so fortunate. Number 8, Mojo Jojo, the Powerpuff Girls. Mojo Jojo! <laughs> Next up is the evil chimpanzee scientist who serves as the wildly entertaining arch nemesis of the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> In each episode, Mojo Jojo continuously concocts new ways to crush the trio, take over Townsville, and conquer the world. If only he could catch a break. Number seven, Magneto, X-Men. The war for survival must begin now, while we mutants are strong and you are still divided. Few cartoon villains, let alone super villains, are bent on the suppression of the entire human race and yet still manage to have us sympathize with their reasoning. You're all fools, heroic fools. That was the case on every Saturday morning, as the Master of Magnets and his Brotherhood fought for mutant rights and dominance against fellow mutants, the X-Men. Magneto saved me. Where is he? Good luck to you, Xavier. Now we're even, but we shall meet again. Number six, The Joker, Batman the Animated Series. I arranged another early parole as soon as I heard about Gordon's testimonial. <laughs> Preceding Heath Ledger's performance in The Dark Knight, Mark Hamill's animated Joker is often considered the best incarnation of Batman's greatest nemesis. Let's hear it for him, folks! A madman with a sick sense of humor, none of Gotham's other criminals ever truly managed to measure up to the irrational and dangerous clown prince of crime. Number 5. Mumra, Thundercats. Mumra will transport you. This immortal demon sorcerer and arch nemesis of those space bearing furballs is awesome. That's because he's given the transformation sequence in every episode. Transform this decay form to Mumra! He also happens to be the most memorable character from what was an otherwise spotty series for being a bad guy that audiences could actually fear. As long as evil exists, Umbra lives. Number four, Skeletor, He-Man, and the Masters of the Universe. Hmm, I'll face them with the combined powers of the Shaping Staff and Castle Grayskull. There's just something about a villain with a skull for a head, massive muscular torso, and shrill, whiny voice that's just sort of off. Sometimes my power even amazes me! Like Mumra, Skeletor managed to outshine the good guys, serving not only as the main antagonist, 
but often as comic relief. You've won this time, but I'll be back. Number three, Shredder and Krang, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They won't get far. Reactivate the falls while I recharge the capacitors. While this odd couple may technically be the arch nemesis of the Ninja Turtles, at their core, they are each other's greatest foes. Krang, what do you want? To help you find the turtles and the neutrinos, since you seem incapable of doing so yourself. Their love-hate relationship and bickering not only cost them their victories, but also made for countless laughs. We will use the capabilities of Dimension X to conquer the entire planet. I like it. Best of all is the voice work, from Krang's alien gurgling to Uncle Phil's growling as the Shredder. Shark level seven. It must be those blasted turtles again. Number two, Cobra Commander and company, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. <laughs> Superb! Now we must press our advantage! All stands forward to victory! His goal of world domination is one shared with his peers. However, Cobra Commander may just be the only villain capable of potentially achieving this goal, despite himself. A stowaway? Scrap iron! Dispose of him! No, we need him! Wildly incompetent, he's backed up by unlimited resources and minions more competent than himself. And seize him! Everyone heard you, my dear Cobra Commander, but no one cares to obey. With the likes of Destro, Zartan, and the Baroness under his command. Cobra! Number one, Megatron, Transformers. Now it's merely a matter of time until Optimus Prime admits defeat. Was there any doubt? The supreme leader of the Decepticons caused the destruction of Cybertron and leads a war that is waged for millennia. Sure, he's been criticized for transforming into a simple gun that his minions wield, but no other cartoon villain is this cool or maniacally calculating. If this land is filled with resources, we shall return home with the power to build the ultimate weapon. Do you agree or disagree with our top 10? Which cartoon villain do you fear the most? Honey, we'll help here. Minions, retreat to the cocoon, now! Be sure to let us know and subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more villainous top 10s. Ah, ah.